Okay, welcome back guys. Now in this video, we are going to be learning about attribute directives. So an attribute directive changes the behavior of a DOM element and we are going to be learning about ng class and ng style built in directives in this video. So if we, so ng class is actually used to dynamically apply multiple classes to an HTML element. So let's understand with an example how ng class works. So let's first create two new classes that we want to apply to our HTML element. So backticks, within the backticks, let's create a class, class one, which says color is white. Let's create another class, class two, which says background color is going to be black. Now here inside our tutorials component, Let's create two new properties. C1 is equal to true public. Uh, C2 is equal to true. Now these are the properties that we are going to be using to assign these classes, class one and class two, to our HTML element. So over here within our template, create a new paragraph. So paragraph, close paragraph, and ng class paragraph. Okay, this should be ng. Now to use the ng class directive, remember directive is going to live within the paragraph tag. So square brackets, and within the square brackets, ng class. Now this ng class is going to have a right hand side which is going to contain the list of classes that we want to apply based on the truth or false value of these two properties. So class 1 is going to be based on c1 and class 2 based on c2. So what we are doing here is to this HTML tag we are using the ng class directive which is going to list the classes that we want to apply so class 1 and class 2 are the classes based on the value of c1 and c2 which are the properties defined in tutorials component class so right now both are true so if we go back to our browser we must have this ng class paragraph with white font color and a black background color now we can go to the next extent and create a button that says toggle and close the button tag now let's assign or let us create event binding we are going to have the click event and when there is a click let's create a method called toggle and over here let's define that method toggle and this toggle is just going to negate the values of c1 and c2 so this dot c1 is equal to not of this dot c1 and this dot c2 is equal to not of this dot c2 and when you save this and go back to the browser we're going to have a button which is going to toggle the values from true to false and there you go the classes that were being applied over here based on c1 and c2 it is now false and these two classes are not applied to this paragraph tag. Now if I click again, the value becomes true and the classes are added. So that is how ng class works. Now if it is not a class but just an inline style we want to use, then we can use the ng style attribute directive. So let's create two new properties. So public, let's say style is equal to italic italic and public size is equal to let's say 30 pixels now over here we can create another another paragraph tag so paragraph paragraph this is ng style paragraph and again just like ng class it is going to live inside the paragraph tag 
Within square brackets, we are going to have ng style, and on the right hand side, we are going to have the list of styles that we want to apply based on these property values. So we have a font fa fa font style, so font style, which is going to have the value of style property, and we are going to have font size, which is going to have the size property value. So when this is executed, this paragraph is going to have a font style of italic and font size of 30 pixels. And okay, let me just quickly check if, okay, I, I've forgotten to use the double quotes. Okay, now when I reload the browser, it is going to have ng style paragraph in italics and a font size of 30. Now again you can have a button that can assign values to your style and size properties just like ng class but you get the you get the idea. So that's pretty much it about the built-in attribute directives. Now you can create custom structural directives and attribute directives but I'm going to hold it off till the end of the video series maybe towards some somewhere towards the end. But for now, that's pretty much it about attribute directives. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.